flow. All praise. Come on up, sis. Y'all come on up. Because I was just talking to the sister right here. All praise. So, sis, you say you, you don't you don't claim yourself as a African-American. Who said you said that? You did, right? You know, you do know who you are, correct? Okay, all praises. We're going to get there. And I just spoke with my sister, so she knows who she is. So you say that you, you, feel, you believe that you are in more, correct, right? Okay, so watch this. Let me do the round 28. What we're going to do is, sis, we're going to show you from the Bible that just some historical information, the Moors, they were Israelites. During a time frame in history, right, that's what we were called by. Just as today, that's called uh, by word of proverb. Give me that. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb and a byword. Right. So a proverb is a old wise saying, right? Are you with me? A proverb is an old wise saying. If you want to hide something from a nigger, where are you going to put it? In a book. Right. So, for example, that proverb that it's speaking of, that Moorish identity, that's a byword. A byword is another name that we called ourselves, or better yet, that they gave us to be called. For, for instance, look right here. This is the 12 tribes of Israel chart. On this side right here are the names God calls us in the Bible. Because of this one particular reason, because of that thing, that byword, we start believing in other things. We stop keeping God's laws and his commandments. Our remembrance was taken away from us when we were scattered about the whole earth. Right? Yeah. Because you know the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are carnal. They're, they're spiritual, not carnal, right? Meaning it's our, our war is to be battled. It's not a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing. You believing that you are born? thing that's a that's a wise tale that has been passed on and passed on and passed on a lot of people don't realize that moors are nothing but israelites Bring it up. watch this watch this what god said and that's how we came about during that time frame read deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 26 uh -huh. i said uh -huh. i will scatter them into corners uh -huh. i will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men right read that again for the top source here. i said I would scatter them into corners. Uh -huh. I will make the remembrance of them. We make the what? Remembrance of them. Right. Remembering who you were, who God called you to be. That's a great nation of people. Right? See, because the world, the sister was just up here today. She asked that question. The world was turned upside down. All right? Let me say that again. The world was turned upside down. For us to fall to such a low state and knowing not who we are, God is telling you what he was going to do. Bring Read that again and then give me uh, verse 15. Watch this. Again, because again, we're going to keep it in context since I'm trying to show you that Moorish, more, uh, what else we call ourselves? Egyptologists. Egyptologists. Uh, 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 Pan-Africans. Pan -Africans. All of these are bywords no, that we subscribe to other than what God called us. You with me, Mom? All right, so read 32 again and then go to 15 because here's, again, we're going to read that again to show you we were scattered from one end of the earth to the other. Some people say we go by Afro-Americans, Afro-Cubans. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Anything with Afro, you're nothing but Israelites. God said he was going to do this to us because we didn't do this next point, the second point. Watch this, read point one. I said, I will scatter them into corners. Uh -huh. I will would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. To cease from among who? From among men. Meaning your nationality is going to be hidden from all men. That's a, that's, that's a curse that was brought upon us because we chose to follow the other customs of people around us. For instance, the Jewish man, right? What do they practice? Jew it, Judaism, right? But if anything has a ish on it, is it the real thing? Because if that little mask you got on right there, if I said, is that black ish or is it black? It's black, all right? But why do they call themselves Jewish? Because they believe that they're, they're trying to get you to believe that there are Jewish. They're the Jews of this Bible, but they're not 
we are the Jews. And here's the point, here's the here's the final and say so of what we teach and what we're showing you through the Bible, sis. We're gonna show you that these curses that we're reading is all has only happened to one nation of people. And this is how you're gonna know that you're not a moron. You're supposed to be the greatest thing on this earth. That's right. But by you subscribing to Moorish or all these other customs, then you you can't be royalty. You at a low estate because your remembrance has been destroyed from amongst all men. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken uh -huh. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do uh -huh. all his commandments. Wait a minute, to do what? All his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so these curses happen to the Israelites. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? And these curses, like I said, happen. Deuteronomy 1 and 1, and then come right back. Because again, I'm, I'm just telling you what the Bible says. We out here to warn you whether you hear it or you forbear it. Sis has heard this before, but she didn't have no means of contact. She said she couldn't, she couldn't uh, keep the studying to keep following up. She knows she's an Israelite. But this is why, read. This is who the Bible's talking to, read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Huh? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Wait a minute, black man. This is, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moorish people. All Israel. Jewish people. All Israel. Right. On their side of the Jordan. This is who Moses wrote the Bible to. That it wasn't written for everybody. You see what I'm saying, sis? So when Mo, when God when give me uh, 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 uh give me uh Exodus 24 and verse 12. So watch this sis. So you are going to find out and then give me uh Psalms 147 and 19. Cuz what you are going to find out he gave these laws and these statutes and these commandments only to Israel. That's who Moses was talking to. These curses is how it applies to us. And then we're going to jump into these curses to show you, without a doubt, ain't no other man has gone through these curses. Read. Exodus chapter 24, verse 12. Uh-huh. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. come up, come up to me into the mount uh -huh. and be there. Right. So this is when God called Moses up to the mountain, right? You know of that story, right? God called Moses up to the mountain, right? Read. And I will give thee tables of stone. Uh -huh. Those will be the two tablets that Moses came down with, right? With the what, what what was written on the tablets? The Ten Commandments. All praises that you said that you correct, right, sis? Right, read. And I will give thee tables of stone uh -huh. and a law. Wait a minute. He said, I will give thee the tables of stone, the table of law, right? Which is ten. The Ten Commandments is nothing but an umbrella now. But with under that umbrella, there's sub-laws, statutes, commandments, and judgments. So at the end of all of that, it's more than 10 commandments. It's 613 total commandments. You in this world that has been turned upside down, you only believe in and know the 10 because that's what church has taught you all your life. But watch, let's listen to the Bible. Watch this, read. And I will give thee tables of stone uh -huh. and a law uh -huh. and commandments. And commandments, read. Which I have written uh -huh. that thou mayest teach them. Uh -huh. And Moses rose up and his minister Joshua. Uh -huh. And Moses went up into the mountain. Okay, good, good, good. Jump to verse uh, 3. Go to verse 3, 24 and 3. Watch this. Because, again, we, we still expounding on these commandments. And then we're going to go get, tell you who they were given to. Read. Exodus chapter 24, verse 3. Read. And Moses came and told the people uh -huh. all the words of the Lord. Right. And all the judgments. And the what? And all the judgments. Uh huh. And all the people answered with one voice. What did they say? And said, What? All the words which the Lord hath said, uh -huh. we will do. We will what? Will we do? So you see, the laws was given to the Israelites, and all of the Israelites said, We will do these, Lord. Because he just brought us out of Egypt, such a great wonder. He took them through the Red Sea, right, sis? He took them through the Red Sea. He parted the Red Sea for them. He destroyed the Egyptians. This only happened to, let's get to the curses, verse 32. Let's find out who. And while you're up here, look at these images right here, because these images only happen to one nation of people. 
and, and think of a time frame in history that it had while he's reading this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. Right. When was our sons and daughters given to another people? During slavery, right? Here you see it right here. What happened to them when they were given to them? What, when, they were, when we came over here and we got off those slave ships, what they did was, what image did they put in front of us when we got off the slave ships? What image on your right or your left? Right here. This one, right? Because this is the, what we've been having in our churches for what? Generation to generation to generation. Why? Because remember, he said he would take the remembrance of who you are from amongst all people, from one end of the earth to the other. That's a curse. That's one of the curses. Verse 32. Now, so find out what happened when we got off those slave ships. We were sold to another people. Verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Wait a minute. Who sent, who sent the enemies against us? Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the, who sent the enemies against us? The Lord, right? Why did he do it? For a curse. And what brings on the curses? What brings on the curses? Verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken means to hear. The root word of hearken means to hear. If you don't hear and observe. To observe, to do all his commandments. How many commandments are there? How many have you known just all your life? So now do you see where we're getting out of order? There's 603 commandments that you don't know. There's 603 commandments that the Jewish people know and they're proclaiming to be you. But have they gone through this atrocity? Bring it over. They've never gone through this atrocity in their lives. Right. We are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the only people that have gone through these curses. That's why we are the children of Israel. But uh, don't let me, let's get some more of these curses because we're gonna find out. 48 from the top again. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Right, who is the enemy now? Who is the enemy? Don't be afraid, who is the enemy? Who brought us from the west banks of Africa over to this continent? The white people, that's right. I just want to make sure you're not afraid to say it because it's, a, it's, it's like, once you say it, it's like admitting that I'm not afraid to know who I am now. Right. I'm not afraid to know that when I look at one of them, the Bible say as rust, as, as, as iron rusted, so do, so do they, their trust, meaning they gonna turn on you eventually, give them a little time. So their true natural, their true inner deep feeling is really coming out on them right now. You see all of these killers. All of that is just the iron rusting. That's what the Bible says. You see what I'm saying? So it's, a, it's, it's power in just saying it. Yeah, they're your oppressors. We went from physical slavery to a mental slavery. Right. Right? So let's finish. Let's get some more on that. Because let's find out what they did to us and how that still relates to these curses. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, Read. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst right. and in nakedness. Right. So in hunger and thirst and in nakedness, who do we go to for these particular things when we were in this captivity? Who do we go to? Right, because do any black people own the textile fabric mills? Do we own that? You can have a clothes line. I can go start a clothes line, but do I own the fabric or the material to make that? We go and get that from who? Read. And in want of all things, uh -huh. and he shall put a yoke of iron uh -huh. upon thy neck. It said in want of all things, you to get your gas bill, your electric bill to pay for your car, to drive your car. Who do you go to? To even be buried, who do you go to? The white man, right? I mean, you do. You do, you, do, is it, do you know any brothers that own the uh, electric company over here that you can go to? Do you know anybody that owns your driver's license that you have to go pay for? Do you know anybody that you have to go pay? I mean, we're going to go get licenses and IDs and birth certificates. I'll answer a whole other story in more. 
All praise. So, but again, it all falls under these curses that happen to God's chosen people, right? But then again, let's let the let's let the Bible speak, right? Read, watch this. Watch this. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Did that happen to the Jewish man? Did that happen to the Moors? Yes. Huh? That was just a byword. That wasn't your true heritage, your, your, your DNA, who you descend from. You know that your people came over on slave ships, but those people that came over on the slave ships, they were Israelites. That's right. That's thus said the Lord God. Watch this. Verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh -huh. Egypt means bondage or slavery, okay? Egypt means bondage or slavery. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into bondage or slavery, read, again with ships. How did they get over here? With ships. No, they migrated as the textbooks in the, in the school system are trying to convert or change it to. They said we migrated. What did God say? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Cruise line of ships, sis? Was it a cruise line of ship? No. This is the kind of ships, where is it at? This is the kind of ships, uh, officer, could you give me that slave ship sign? This is the kind of ships we rode over here. In. And this is how we were packed in them. And this is a part of that same curse. Watch this. This is what that ship looked like we rode in. You see how we were in there? This is how we came over here. There wasn't no cruise ship. Is that a migration? Do, are we migrating? No, we were brought over here because of curses. How many curses, are, how many commandments are there? 613, thus said the Lord. And so when we came, so when that slave ship came over here, that ship just didn't come straight to America. You see this, it just didn't come here. Sis, historically, there were more slaves taken to the islands in the south part of the world than there ever came to America. There were tens and thousands of millions of slaves gone over to the other uh, uh, stops, the ports. As you can see, in South America, Europe, uh, Arabia. We came, we went all over the world, as the scripture said, from one end of the earth to the other. Right. America, we was the, the fewest slaves just came here. If all these people are Israel, Israelites, why were only the black people in the Okay, so that's a great question, sis. That's a great question, but we're gonna go right back and visit it because uh, 147, 19, and then come right back to 15. All right, all these people are beneath the white man. So, watch this though, sis, sis. So, again, sis, so what we're doing, remember the, remember the topic, we're showing you the curses that fit the one particular people. That's the nation of Israel, the Israelites, right? We're showing you these curses. And who did they happen to? Right. So now again, why did we say the curses happened to us? We didn't follow the commandments. So since now you just answered your own question. Did you get that? Is that what you're asking me? No, it ain't that we didn't follow them, but we we can't follow nothing we don't know. Well, okay, well, so I hear what you're saying, but saying like that's like an beginning. So you you saying the Hispanics and Native Americans they ain't being sold into slavery? Not from what I'm so uh, from, from what we always done learned and seen, it was always the black people on the ship. Okay, so until until they got laid in time where they start uh, shipping the Dominicans and the Cubans and from, uh, uh, over into where they got where they where they don't want wherever. I used to ship them over, right. but that was way laid after us. So uh, they didn't do no slavery. They didn't do what we did. I'm gonna show you. So what you know about America? What y'all know about American history? I mean, I, I, I've been out North, long North, time. Central, and South America. What y'all know? I don't know. History ain't never been that stuff. Okay, so y'all y'all familiar with Christopher Columbus? Yeah. What's the first thing Columbus did when he when the ships docked in America? No, yeah, so he crossed from Spain to America. What's the first thing he did? He's supposed to. He, 
What was their name? Market. What was the name of the group of people that came? They was called what? The Conquistadors. So Conquistadors is Spanish for what? Conquer. So they yeah. conquered this land. Yeah, he got to do it. So when they conquered this land, the first thing Columbus did, he took 600 Native Americans, put them on the ships that they came to this side of the world on, and took them back to Spain. So that's Deuteronomy 2868 right there. They went into slavery on slave ships before the so-called black men. Right. They just went back to the other side of the world. But like you said, they ain't teaching us this history. They, they, they took themselves. No, they ain't take themselves because Spanish and a Spaniard are two different things. Just like he told you the people calling themselves Jews, Jewish, it means something like, they just called the, the so-called uh, Hispanic Spanish because they something like, because they yeah. conquered them. Because Hispanic means property of, of Spain. Right. They were enslaved just like us. Right. Bring it out, huh? The French, the British, and the Spanish came to this side of the world and divvied up the land. That's right. So they 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 fit the curses just like we fit the curses. Go, uh, get Deuteronomy 2849 real quick. Go, you good, also? Uh, just one, real right quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Come on. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So God said he's going to bring a nation of people against the uh, Hispanic tribe. He said he's going to bring a nation from far. Spain is far from America, right? He said he's going to bring it from far, right? From the end of the earth. From the other side of the earth, read. As swift as the eagle fly. As swift as the eagle fly. What's, who, what nation of people use they, they sign or they symbol as the eagle? Today, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the Spanish, the Greeks, the Romans. Today it's the Americans. That's they use right. the bald eagle. They all the same people. They all white people. So God prophetically is saying that he was going to see in the Spaniards, Christopher Columbus, the conquistadors against the native tribe. So when you read Deuteronomy 28, 60, that ain't happening to him first, because he right. took them back to Europe. Because because I, I met a woman um, in Pleasant Grove not too long ago. Me and this brother was on a, a fire mission. She looked like a so-called Hispanic, Mexican person. She was from Spain. I started asking her, did she know about this history? She said, yeah. We know uh, Columbus took a lot of our people from the Americas and brought us back over. But the reason they ain't going to teach to the so-called black people is because they don't want us to correlate our history. Cause it's a book called Black Indians. Bring it out. When Andrew Jackson and then was fighting against our people, the so-called Seminole Indians, Reuben, the so-called African Americans, Judah, and the so-called uh, Mexicans mainly, they they were trying to make laws to where we couldn't um where we couldn't uh, date or marry because when we when we uh, had kids together, we looked like we looked too much alike. So for them to be able to tell us apart, that's what they did. But we we about to shut it down. We gotta go. Y'all got the information, it's on the flyer. Uh, y'all visit the, um, please go visit the school. Hit, hit up the website, learn more about y'all history, all right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.